Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project online food ordering system and I have developed this project in Java, Spring Boot, Angular and MySQL. For the Spring Boot site, I am using the STS, Spring Boot tool suits for ID, for uh, uh, Angular and uh, Tomcat version, I am using Tomcat version 9. For port, I am using port 8080 and uh, uh, JDK version is 1.8. For Angular site, I am using Angular version 2 and uh, MySQL version is 5.6 with angular i'm using html and css also some of the javascript packages right so these all technology stacks i have used for developing this project online food ordering system so let's start with the functionality go through that what are the features available in the project what modules we have implemented in this in this project right so this Project title is online food ordering system. It's a mini project uh, which has been developed in Java, Spring Boot, Angular, and MySQL. It's a mini project because it has only and only customer operation. There is nothing dynamic. There is nothing uh, about the admin, right? So admin can't log in. Admin can't add products, right? So there is no operations. There is no models available for the admin. Only uh, customer operations are here, right? So if you want admin operations means major project then you can uh, check on our website there is major project available which has admin and customer login both <clears throat> so once you run this project on localhost 4200 then you will get this home page right so this is the this is the home page right and uh, here you can see many of the products coming from the database right and it's coming through the spring boot api it's coming to the Spring Boot API and uh, from the MySQL database, right, to the controller files. So this is the about page, right, here. This is a static page. There is nothing dynamic on it. So if you want to change the content, then you can change it from directly the file. This is all products. All of the products uh, which is available in the database will be displayed here, right? So if you want to add more, then you can add directly from the database, right? This is a customer login from here. Customer can log in and customer can buy the project, uh, buy the product, right? This is a registration from here. From here, you can, means customer can register and customer can perform uh, certain operations like uh, seeing the food details and buying it, right? So this is a registration from here, customer can register. And this is a contact us page. Uh, this is a static contact us page. There is nothing dynamic on it and uh, we are not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even we are not sending any type of email and sms from this page now i am going to log in as a customer so user id is amit at the rate gmail.com and password is test so once you log in you will get this dashboard so this is the dashboard right from here you can see these all are the same this is my cart here your cart is empty because you have not adding things into your cart right this is a my order sorry this is a my order from here you can see all of the orders which you have placed earlier right so there are a lot of orders here once you click on this arrow icon you will be able to see the items which you have ordered in your past order right so now i am going to add some of the product into my cart i am going to buy it right I'm going to purchase it right I'm going to order it so buy now and add to cart so you can see that item has added into the cart now i am going to add this one so two items i have added now i'm going to add one more item this one so three item i have added into the cart so if you want to delete any item just click on the delete button that item will be deleted from the cart now i am going to add new item so this one right add into the cart so you can see there are three items available into the card right once you click on the checkout then you will be redirected to the payment page right from here you need to enter your card details so this is a uh, static page we are not making any type of real-time transactions right so you can enter anything what you want right no need of any correct credit card details even we are not validating this page also right so you can enter anything what you want <coughs> right once you click on the make payment you will get the order id so this is the order id this is the total amount this is the order date and these are the order items right 
you can print the receipt from here also right so this is the full flow of the customer operations right so now if you go on the my order sections then you can see your last orders here you can see your last order here right so this is the logout and once you log out your all of the session will be expired so this is a session driven menu you can see the my order and my account section because your session is set right and once you click on the logout you can see you are not able to see your my administration menu because it's not according to the it will render according to the session right so you can see now it's disabled right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project online food learning system and as i told you earlier this is a mini project and uh, which we have developed in java spring boot angular and mysql so if you need any enhancement any extra feature in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much